As you get ready for that 4th of July barbecue, you're no doubt seeing higher prices for beef at the grocery store, but how much of that is trickling down to cattle producers? Damon Jones with the Georgia Farm Monitor has this perspective from one farmer. There's a common misconception around the country that since the price of beef has risen nearly 30% at the grocery store over the past couple of years, that cattlemen are making record high profits. However, that couldn't be further from the truth as several external factors have really cut into their bottom line. I would say the profits overall are probably less than, than what it was before. Um, yes, the price, the price, the cattle market prices are up. Uh, somewhat, but with, when you consider what it costs to raise them to that point, um, it, it just it just doesn't pencil out. Our input costs, feed, fertilizer, fuel, that kind of thing, are extremely high. Uh, that's really taken hammering a lot of people in a lot of ways. Drought conditions around the country have been another obstacle for them to overcome, as hot, dry conditions have not only resulted in higher prices for hay and feed, but also a shortage. Well, it just causes you to have to feed hay or feed or whatever. And I mean, obviously the cost of those have gone up so much. If you can find hay, um, this part of this time of the year is, is hard to, um, to even locate supplies now because, I mean, as fast as anybody's bailing hay, they're selling it. And with no real end in sight to the rising prices, setting a budget is near impossible with all the uncertainty. I'm not sure how you're going to make a budget now and stick to it. Uh, that's that's the biggest problem because the price of a lot of things is still going up. Fuel is still going up. Uh, fertilizer may have uh, hit a peak a little bit for the time being, anyway. But you don't know what it's going to do down the road. And this fall, it may be may, it may go up again. And so the the cost of seed, I mean, all that's a factor, and it's just it's just hard to budget when you don't know what the prices will be. Those record prices have also trickled down to the feeder market where those operations are forced to pinch pennies as well. Even when these calves go to a feedlot, the cost of gain is, is costing them so much. I mean, you know, they're not going to pay any more than they have to because their profit margin is very slim. So it's kind of a killer on both ends. That's why organizations like the Georgia Cattlemen's Association are so important at a time like this as they help pass through legislation that will benefit the industry now and into the future. Reporting from Pike County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.